you need physical activity, you need to work out a lot, but mental, like mental health too in fencing is very important. I was having a hard time in my hometown, like home country in fencing, because I don't live in a big city. So there's not a lot of fencers that can fence with you. Moving out to another, another city with more fencing, it was hard. So I just contacted um, Julie Seal, uh, coach in Pleasant Grove in Utah. I was like, hey, <laughs> can I come to the club and fence with you? And now I'm here in Utah because of fencing. I'm really grateful for all I have here. Right now in this stage in my life, uh, the most hard thing right now in fencing is my mind. It's like, it's betraying me in the tournaments. So I'm trying to work with it. There's athlete psychologists that help you with that. So I'm trying to see if I can get help from someone. It's gonna be like, if you're good at like the moving and your body and everything, that's all right, but you need to be tough. Your mind has to be tough and you have to resist everything. I love studying. So I did some research in internet and I saw Utah Valley University and I saw all what they offer and everything. It was cool to see all of what they have and like, it's a big community. I love being at UVU because um, I, belong to the international students. So I've met a lot of people, international students, and I love learning about other cultures and I love traveling. So meeting new people from around the world, I love that. Studying art, it's really great. I want to be a designer. So I've learned a lot. It was amazing, I loved it. I would recommend all UVU students to like, yes, study and everything, but also hanging out in the campus is, is also great and try to meet, like try to make friends and enjoy the time there because it's a really good university. Mm -hmm.